Hello. Hi and welcome to today's stream. It's Monday. Um, more Crusader King 3 today. And as usual, first thing, bring back the background audio to have a nice bit of ambient music. Um, yeah, as I said, welcome. Um, I think we can jump right in. Um, I would recap what happened last time if I could actually remember what happened. So I'm under the impression we wanted to declare war on our brother holding the county of Corinthus. But um, that might just be me though. And I think the next step would be to declare war on the other brother holding the county of Messania. So um, looks like we have our work cut out for us today and I think um, we can probably jump right in. So let's see. What are all these notifications telling us? Not endorsed by the bishop. Should probably change that, right? Are we... No, we're not even swaying the bishop. Why is that? Oh, because we're probably... No, we are not even swaying the spymaster. Well, let's continue to do that. Because she will more than likely kill us. Um, or help someone else kill us if, if we don't. Um, yeah, anything else? So let's check. We do have three children. Two of which are daughters, which is perfect. That's the perfect amount of male children you can have. One. And yeah, I remember correctly. He's handsome, he's a genius, he's hale. Mwah. Mwah. Perfect. Perfect air. Let's not... Well, if we don't want any more children... Couldn't we... We have killed characters? Now, why the hell did... Duchess Demetra... Why did we... How did we murder her? Did we murder her? I don't think we did, to be honest. Hmm. Well... Now he's getting an education, right? Yes, he is. And the two other children... She's not getting an edu education. Now why is that? No, I don't want to send her a gift. Educate child. Huh. Relationships. Guardian. There we go. Now what is she learning? Stewardship. Midas touched intelligent. My sister. Yeah. Sounds like a perfect idea to be honest. And the eldest. Anna Maniatis. It's really quite pretty. Yeah. Um the game isn't isn't lying here. So we might want to find a spouse for her though. Thing is Do we want to marry for alliance power? Or do we want to, I don't know, keep her, keep her in the family? But she is just pretty, so 
and a fortune builder. Her skills aren't that great. I think we might as well marry her off for alliance power. So let's see. Could go for that duchy. Or this duchy up here. Slovenian band of whatever. Oh wow, that's 2,500 soldiers. Okay then, that's a thousand. And that's more. Um, now thing is, if we marry our daughter to this duke here, we are more than likely to be called into wars by him. Question is, do we want that? Do we risk that? Or do we just go um, with the mercenaries? Now let's check check them first. Transylvania up north here. Really secluded, so that's not really an option. It's between this duke and the mercenaries. And the guy probably hates us because he's Slovenian, he's sadistic. Or oh, is my... No, I am probably sadistic, right? Um, anyway... Yeah, let's let's go let's go with the other duke here. Anna gets a nice um, gets a nice prestige bonus. Well, but he's just three years old. That will take a while. And I'm not sure. I think the alliance just triggers um, whether they're actually married. So never mind. We are... He's 12, at least. Just brave. Duchy of Transylvania. What is that duchy? Or where is that duchy? Ooh, that's the duchy right next to Constantinople. Okay. And the guy has a lot of troops. Well, comparatively. Huh, interesting. Maybe... Maybe that's the perfect spouse here. Although he's just nine years old. Nope, we are going... Um, we are going with the mercenary band. At least she gets 200 prestige. And he's 12, so... Okay, yeah. Let's let's go with that. Nice. And now I think we... You can hire a court physician. We don't have a court physician. Okay, that's not great. Mm, poor aptitude... Um, yeah, let's search for one. Court physicians are really worth their gold. Alliance formed with that guy. Perfect. Court physician. Apparently, Pulcheria is quite experienced. Now is she. Skilled tactician. Let's see, she is at court now, right? Hmm... Well, maybe she's not. Fourteen learning?
Yeah, well, we're going for her. Okay, then. If we were to replace her... Aptitude pure. Well, so that wasn't worth it at all. Okay, then. Um, not endorsed by my bishop. Yeah, we're working on that. Can declare wars. So, do we already have... Um, a title. You have a claim on the title, allowing you to revoke it without being viewed as a tyrant. Yeah, we should probably just do that, right? And revoke his title to the county. Might not even have to declare war. And he might accept. So he's going to rise up in rebellion if he's not accepting. And he's allied to the other brother. So... Let's see. Let's see what happens if we revoke his title. War declared. Huh. Settle it on the battlefield. Well, okay then. So he's, um... He's not giving up that easily. Might as well raise all armies. And did he call allies into the war? He didn't. So far. Empty council position. Now was that guy my marshal? He might have been. He really might have been. Unfortunately, our knights are terrible, aren't they? Yes. Yes, they really are. Hmm... Well, maybe we could be sneaky here. So let's see. The county of Messania will fall back to me if Count Hectorius dies. So what are, we are going to do is force him to be a knight and see what happens. And the marshal might as well stop increasing control and train commanders. So... Or maybe not. Maybe... Um, organized army is better suited here. So... Let's see what happens. I think we might have to siege down two counties, or two, two castles, really. Um, but you know what? We are, we are going to meet him there. Or maybe we're not. Okay then, time for sieging. Count of Nicopolis gained unused farmland. Of 
Because my marshal is terrible. Unfortunately. So we do have five months of sieging left. A scheme at... And he's really sieging Charnia. Interesting. That's not going to go down too well um, with his ally, but okay then. Spinemass has come to me with grave news while we do not know yet. Someone is plotting to kill my sister Dorothea. Huh. Okay. I mean, we don't really care about Chania, do we? Notable guest has arrived. Claim on the county of Saras. Now, where is that? Up there, okay. Yeah, I don't think we can do much for him here right now. But, um... Face conversion costs. Clergy opinion. Clergy opinion plus 10 sounds useful. And the bishop is endorsing us now. Perfect. Staring at stars. From all my evenings watching stars I've seen with my own eyes at what I've only heard of before. The stars move at different speeds and reverse their course at different times, but seemingly in large groups depending on which celestial sphere they belong to. Indeed, with the right calculations, one could even predict their movement. My bishop does not approve, of course. Leave the skies be the celestial realm is for the clergy to know. No, we will find answers in the heavens. Screw you, bishop. Gain insight into the heavens. Plus one stewardship, plus one learning, plus 0.25 prestige. Yeah. There we go. Bishop endorsement. Yeah, and the guy hates me again. Unfortunate, but what can you do? <laughs>